Once this begins, we will ask that everybody stay seated the entire time. We do have a photographer here to take a picture of your child receiving their certificate. There are plenty of photo opportunities as well afterwards. Beautiful job, everyone. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and graduates. On behalf of the members of the District 289 School Board, Dr. School, Mr. Pierce, the administrative team, the district staff, and myself, we would like to welcome you to the eighth grade promotion ceremony. 
This year is like any other year before us. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the outstanding teachers and staff of this district. There are not enough words of gratitude, gifts, taco trucks, pats on the back, Facebook posts to show our true appreciation. You have done all of the things that we've asked you not to do in previous years. You have recreated the wheel. You have built the plane while it's flying. But most importantly, without hesitation, you reinvented education. I would personally like to thank a few people. Is Lynette Cleary here in the audience? Lynette Cleary, from the moment of the shutdown till this morning, was the first one at the building every day making sure that every single student in this district was fed. She never missed a day, she never complained. She came on the days she wasn't supposed to and she met the delivery trucks when they showed up at four in the morning instead of five in the morning. So to Lynette Cleary, you are truly the most essential employee in this district. Thank you. I would like to personally thank Guy Von Hoff and Ed DeWitt, our custodian in maintenance. Um, they literally built bridges to make this evening happen. Um, thank you for making such a beautiful event for everybody. To Julia Miller and Patty Nunez, there just are not enough words of thanks for the two of you. This, we could not have made it through this year without the two of you. Thank you very much. In this audience are two school nurses watching their daughters graduate. Maureen Hansen and Laura Younger, thank you for keeping each and every person in this district safe. It has been the hardest job and you've done it all while maintaining a great sense of humor and professionalism unlike any I've ever seen. To the graduation committee of parents who Zoomed repeatedly with me to discuss the what ifs and the how to's and how to come up with such a wonderful celebration, I thank you. Most importantly, to our past and our present school board members, we thank you for navigating some of the trickiest decision making that has ever occurred. You guided us through what will be noted as the most difficult year in education in a century. Thank you for listening, for being present, and for working through whatever decision making we had to work through for the benefit of safety, the education, and most importantly, what is best for kids. Now is the time that we honor our retirees this year. With only four retirees in the district, they have a combined total of 127 years serving students in some educational capacity. Dessa Collings, 27 years, kitchen head cook. Lori Laudenberger, 33 years as a paraprofessional in Mendota. Dr. Beth Wackerlin has been a teacher, a principal, a curriculum director, and she is retiring as the director of teaching and learning at Mendota 289. Dr. Wackerlin has been in education for 34 years and a part of Mendota students' lives for nine years. Our superintendent, Dr. Kristen School, has been a band teacher, an assistant principal, a principal, and a superintendent. She has spent 33 years in education and has led the teachers and students of Mendota for 11 years. We hope each of you enjoy your retirement and we thank you for your tireless work with students. Dr. School couldn't be here this evening because she is at her son's eighth grade graduation. To the 2021 graduating class of Northbrook, I wanna thank each and every one of you. We know that this year has not been easy, it has not been ideal, and it has not been fun. Our hope is that this year, you have learned a few things that we did not teach in our curriculum 
The first thing we hope that you learned is how to be uncomfortable. Although that may sound un unsupportive and the opposite of what educators are supposed to teach, we think that being uncomfortable may be the thing that created the deepest learning this year. Being uncomfortable leads to self-advocacy skills that you will need all through high school and the rest of your life. When you are uncomfortable, you have to seek ways to find what makes you comfortable, and no one can help you with that except for you. We found that the more uncomfortable you became, the harder you worked. The more uncomfortable you were, the more you sought help from those around you. It may have taken a pandemic, but we believe you learned something we could never teach you, and that is how to help yourself. The other thing that we hope that you have learned is that fear cannot control your purpose in life. We have watched you traverse new rules and guidelines. We've watched you comply with rules that were often difficult, inconvenient, and sometimes scary. We have watched you rely on your family and your school for help, and we can't even begin to explain how proud we are of you for wearing your mask, never complaining, and doing as you were asked. You are all true heroes for that. Every single thing that happened this year, we did in a modified format. For those of you who participated in sports and played the entire time with a mask on, I commend you. For those of you who showed up on Fridays to make sure you were getting what needed to get done and making that extra effort so you could be sitting here today, I commend you. For those of you who were at home, comfy and cozy in your jammies, and still showed up for an 8 a.m. Zoom meeting put on by your teachers, I commend you. You made the year work for you. You adapted and you pivoted each time we did. You now understand when we say that when you set a goal, there is not a single thing to get in your way. Any opportunity that you can dream is completely in your control and 100% attainable. I am honored to have been your principal for these four years, but I am completely humbled to have served you this past year. You have made each and every one of us so proud. Congratulations to you and enjoy all of the successes coming your way. Throughout the year, we gave out um, quite a few awards to the eighth graders, and we are going to announce those now. So when I say your name, please stand. The Jeannie McKenzie Award, which honors an eighth grade volleyball who represents an excellent student athlete, this year's recipient, Ella Koss. The Illinois Principal Association John Orth Award is presented annually to two eighth graders from the exiting grade of a school. The eighth grade teachers were tasked with picking out students who represent being a great student, good citizenship, and are great role models for other students. This year's recipients are Brenna Rummery and Travis Mum. The final award given out this year was the LaSalle County Board Student Excellence Award. The criteria for this award is community service. You must be socially and civically responsible and have a good work ethic. This year, the award was presented to Jillian Younger. And now I will announce the President's Education Awards. We are very proud of our many excellent students in this eighth grade class. We recently had an honor ceremony where many of these students were honored for their academic excellence. The President's Awards, however, recognize student achievement in a slightly different way. 
It's a national education awards program that began in 1983 to honor students who excel academically. Awards are presented at three levels to students graduating from elementary, middle, and high school. The first award tonight is the Outstanding Academic Achievement Award. To select these award recipients, the eighth grade teaching team was asked to choose a few students they felt were outstanding in regards to academic effort and or improvement during their eighth grade year. We are especially proud of this 11 eighth grade students who have worked incredibly hard to become good students through their excellent efforts. These students will receive a certificate and pin. As I read your names, please stand and hold applause until all names have been read. Samantha Asensio, Marco Belcazar, Connor Chambers, Ivan Espinoza, Lorelei Hart, Jose Hernandez, Kayla Hernandez, Gregoria Mendez, Nicholas Reyes, Lizette Sandoval, Mabriana Schultz. Congratulations. The second presidential awards tonight are for outstanding academic excellence. These students must first have a 3.5 grade point average or higher for grades six and seven and the first half of eighth grade, which as we all know this year was extraordinarily difficult. Then the eighth grade teachers are each asked to recommend students who really excel in their class or subject area. Students who qualify for this award must receive at least two of these teacher recommendations. This is a very elite group of 16 eighth graders. As I read your names, please stand. Again, hold all applause until names are read. Each student will also receive a certificate and pin. Eric Aranda, Ava Beats, Shelby Bentley, Ella Koss, Jesus Escobar, Braden Freeman, Claire Hansen, Quinn Holland, Anthony Kelson, Kennedy Knapp, Dessa Kamidis, Samuel Matura, Gracie Patel, Haley Patel, Kaylee Seamer, Leah Turner. Congratulations. The Reed Rydberg Award is given to an eighth grader who carries out the following qualities positive attitude, respect toward teachers, respect for other students, sets and meets high expectations for oneself, is an advocate for the arts and demonstrates superior creativity. This year, the award recipients are Cameron Cordick and Olivia Avila. Thank you. The next award are the American Legion School Medal Awards. The sixth, seventh, and eighth grade teachers vote on these for the students. The criteria are courage, determination, and force to do right, honor, high standards of conduct, leadership, ability to lead and accomplish through group action, Patriotism, an ideal of loyal Americanism. Scholarship, attainment in school studies, and service, being kindly, being kindly and unselfish. This year's recipients are Anthony Kelson and Claire Hansen.
Thank you. The final award is the James D. Hume Citizenship Award. This is also voted on through sixth, seventh, and eighth grade staff. The Hume Citizenship Award is given to an eighth grader who carries out the principles of good citizenship in his or her daily life. The award is a mem memorial to Mr. James D. Hume, who encouraged the development of citizenship while he was a member of the elementary school board. This award considers the following characteristics. Sincerity, honesty, friendliness, genuine concern for others, good attitude towards school, and carrying out in daily life the American principles of citizenship. This year's win winner is Joshua Sangroth. Now, I have always told the students, if you make a mistake, own it. I have made a mistake. We are going to go a little backwards to the beginning of the program. We are going to do the Pledge of Allegiance right now. To recite the Pledge of Allegiance, Nicholas Reyes. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. you Thank you, Nick. I apologize for that. And now for the presentation of the Northbrook Class of 2021 Please welcome Mr. Pierce. As we get ready to read the names, excuse me. As we get ready to read the names, please refrain from applause and cheering until the last name is read so every family member has the privilege to hear their child's name. Eric Aranda. Aiden Richard Argus. Fernando Artiaga. Gabriel Alexander Arteaga. Jorge Cristobal Arteaga. Noemi Itzel Arteaga. Samantha Lissette Asensio. Olivia Avea Avila. Marco Antonio Balcazar. Mackenzie Rose Bean. Ava Lorraine Beats.
Shelby Elena Bentley. Rin Elizabeth Booth. James Daniel Bradley. Ashley Caracheo. David Alejandro Casas. Connor Ryan Chambers. Duan Andre Colon Jr. Caitlin Britt Cook. Jackson Patrick Arias Cooper. Karina Coronel. Ella Elizabeth Koss. Sophia Duarte. Gavin Michael Elston. Cameron Jacob Escatel. Jesus Escobar. Ivan Espinoza. Aiden Alexander Fisher. Jacqueline Flores. Braden Thomas Freeman. Crystal Evelyn Garcia. Jack Gillespie. Joseph Hernandez Gomez. Heaven Lynn Gonzalez. Rosa Maria Gonzalez. Claire Marie Hansen. Lorelai Hart. <laughs> Josie Ray Hahn. Jose Bernabe Hermosillo.
Kayla Arani Hernandez. Lydia Hernandez. Jose Miguel Hernandez Zavala. Quinn Tyler Holland. Caleb Joseph Hool. Horacio Wisar. Cameron Kelly. Anthony Kurt Kelson. Aiden Joseph Kent Tucker. Christopher Warren Kimes. Kennedy Luis Helen Knaff. Dessa Laurel Comitas. Cameron Alexander Kordick. Brandon Dean Ledley. Eric Vicente Lopez. Luis Fernando Magallanes. Guadalupe Maldonado. Logan Clark Martin. Samuel Matura. Evan Thomas McFeeders. Damian Medina. Gregoria Mendez. Travis Gregory Mum. Sherry Negron. Brisa Isabel Nunez. Leonard Oregon. Nevea Lynn Orozco. Sophia Grace Pappas. Gracie Patel. Healy Patel. Joel Wesley Price.
Diego Antonio Raya. Nicholas Ivan Reyes. Dominic Lee Ritchie. Brenna Rose Rummery. Rayleigh Francisco Sandoval. Lisette Sandoval Rios. Noe Sarabia. Jason Michael Schrader. Angel Serrano. Quinn K. Sheaves. Kaylee Ray Seamer. Joshua John Sondagara. Wyatt Nathan Sangara Madison Marie Sproston Sebastian Orion Stadler Leah Carol Turner Gabriel Josue Vallejo. Eric Guadalupe Vasquez. Anastasio Vasquez IV. Faith Sinai Viegas. Rhett Alexander Watson. Anthony Patrick Wilmot. Jillian Olivia Younger. Congratulations to each and every one of these students. After what I think we can all agree was probably the most difficult year in our lifetimes, 
I want to take a moment to thank the families that are here. Without you, these students and this school district would not survive without the love and the support that you share with your children and this school district. Without each of you, these students would not be sitting here. So I would like the students to take a moment to thank all of the families that are here. A few reminders before closing. If our seventh grade ushers and marshals would like to be prepared. We have plenty of gorgeous photo opportunities here on this property and at the school. We are going to leave as much as we can up throughout the weekend for you for pictures. If your child won the Reed Rydberg Award, the Hume Award, or the American Legion Award, please have them report to the concession stand, which is the white building, Mrs. Miller's waving, um, for a photo for the newspaper and to pick up their awards. Lastly, and the hardest thing to ask, if you are able to stay and help and put chairs away, we sure would appreciate it. Um, we will be moving them directly after this back to that building behind me. Will the students please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Northbrook Class of 2021. <laughs>